Hey, it's Faye. Welcome back to our series where we clean our clothes that we kept until we were skinny. You're so toxic if you're keeping clothes around to wear when you're skinny. I too am that person. And as you guys know, we've been going through my closet to really declutter and let go of things that prove to us that our bodies are not good enough. Clothes do not define me. And for the longest time, I allowed that to control how I feel about my body, my stomach, my fupa, and the cookies in my arms. Cleanse your closet energy. We're going through 58 long sleeve tops. 3% has been worn at least twice. The rest, I just kept until I was skinny enough. Goodbye, Shirley. Before we begin, the last closet clean out video, you guys were asking where these different color tanks are from. That's her shop actually carries this now. If you want to be that girl this summer, definitely grab our Ari Push Kush tanks. Clearly, they are a little bit revealing. They're meant to be. It gives you such a confidence boost in your silhouette, especially how it tightens around your waist and it pushes your cushions. You only have a few left in stock, so if you want, grab it. Mainly for the girlies with boobies that repel. This is the first long sleeve top. Wavy sweetheart neckline that connects to an open outer sleeve. You do need a bit of protection. It's also longer, so not everything I own is cropped. Just for those who always think that I only wear cropped stuff. What a beautiful pop of shoulder. Who said, who said she couldn't be sophisticated? I feel confident in this. Keep. This is also from That's Her Shop, my small boutique. It's the Illa top. And the mix of sweetheart corset tightens your waist with a blouse blossoming outside of the corset, except it's just one shirt. Us stout, mid-sized girlies could never. Okay, we could, but I could never. Without looking so chunky and no shape to me, that's the reason behind this top. I love how it has so much room for my arm as well. Definitely a must-have. Girl, I have not even worn this out yet. Two, three years now. It's such good quality, I don't want to let it go. I'm supposed to wear it like this. What if it snaps open? How goes the weasels, Linda? It's ripped and collared. This is keepable, right? Naturally. These two sisters like to fight each other, so I keep them separated. They're not really boobing to me. I'm still gonna keep this. Look, I know what you're thinking. This top means so much to me, but I have no neck in it now. But Ross who? Oh no, it's supposed to be like this. Don't button it. Stupid. I wore this in my Cleo lipstick collab and a photo shoot in Korea. So dear to my heart. My style really evolved. I went from really like hey style clothes, I would say Asian S, to very like Americanized, cropped, very revealing clothes. I just don't feel like this is serving me anymore. Do I look stupid? It kinda gives bib, it kinda gives chef. I know, I know, I know, but I'm keeping it. I like this top, but the last time I wore it, the shoulders were bothering me so much and I was constantly self-aware of this area because it just didn't feel as supported. But I was a little bit skinnier then. I'm like kind of protruding into it and it's actually feeling a little bit more comfortable, secure. I actually feel this up a little better now. Never thought I'd say that and be okay with it. Keep. I don't know. The idea was how flattering this diamond cut was. I've never found myself wearing this out. I'm just not a huge fan of balloon sleeve blouses, although I do like to have some on hand. The sleeves are not my cup of tea, but they're really cute. <sighs> that cookies don't look great in this. <laughs> no. Ooh, girl. Monstrous shading. Still like a cute PJ top. It makes me like horrible from the side. I look like a hospital patient, don't I? Let's just be honest, Faye. You only kept it because it was lip pop. Toss. This was one of my biggest regrets. I bought it for a brand deal. I went to Pryor. I saw this top and I was like, okay, perfect. I need this angelic Christmas looking sweater. It's Myers. Things are on sale. No biggie. $45. I'm the type where I have social anxiety. So if I already scanned something, I'm not going to call for help or returning things I cannot do. So I went with it. Itchy. It feels like plastic. It's not comfortable at all. Honestly, what do you think about this sweater? It looks like a backdrop. Do I just look like a fluffy cat? An allergic fluffy cat? to itself. The reasonable thing to do here is to keep. Oh my god, not us Miji Wooin. Remember when I did all those Miji Woo hauls? Well, say hello to one of the very few pieces I kept. Now as I'm wearing it, it has never made me look so wide. Clearly see-through. I don't love this scoop neck. Interesting wiring to the ruffles. I feel like I belong in the art exhibit. It sucks because all those Miji Woo clothes, I, I've never been able to return. It's so expensive to buy and ship over. Are we keeping this? It's actually super uncomfortable too. Okay, fine. Toss. I feel outdated. I don't know if this is even a thing anymore. I personally am gonna pass. Girl, don't even get me started. I kept this for the longest time. One day when I meet my boyfriend's parents, I'm gonna wear this. Never will. Maybe? Would I? Probably never, so pass. I've never worn this out. I've always felt too big in this. It just didn't flatter my body shape. What is happening? I do love the sleeves though. This was way too expensive to like give up, so keep. 
This is a Skims top. I have dupes of this top from Amazon if you want to check that out. Linked in my Amazon storefront. This area looks so off. Oh my god, it looks so weird. Look how loose this part is. Is it supposed to look like this? What's happening, Kim? Kim, get it together. I really want to pass this up. <laughs> Let's wear a good penny though. It's so bad. What the heck? Maybe I wear this as an undershirt if I'm going somewhere that's like below zero degrees. Guess right now, since I still have the tag. Keep. Oh my god, my hair. This is from the brand Unif. It's supposed to look better than this. It's just a cute little turtleneck. I think it's a brand that a K-pop idol wore. But look how stupid I look. Maybe if I tucked it in some jeans, yeah, that's the way to go. Me and tops that are like this could never survive the existence of humanity. On that note, keep. I look like a hot mess chihuahua lost on a leash. I actually really like this top. I never really worn it. It's spicy. It's a risque kind of look, but it really isn't. Nothing's really revealed. I think because of the collar, <laughs> I paid a heavy penny for this too, so I'm not gonna let this go. Very cute. Definitely keep. This is my girls' night out corset. I'm not gonna put it on because no one's home to help me zip the back. This is our best seller on that'sourshop.com. Corset with this ruffle side meshing and a little neck choker moment. Some customers actually thought this was faulty, but no, it's actually a thumb hole for your sleeve. Gorgeously made with such thought to the design. The inside is actually lined with silk and it's super soft. No wonder it's our best seller. Of course, keep. What in the? Listen, Linda, you're gonna hate me when you hear why I got this top. I wanted to be sportsy, a well-rounded sporty gal. It looks like she plays baseball. So I went on Amazon and I purchased this. I could wear this on a day out. I look like I belong in the 2005 catalog for Kmart. Pass. I think we can all agree that last fall, the trendy retro stripes came along. Very 90s. This one was super, I mean, is super tiny. It's from Lip Hop. I still like it. Small, as you can tell, and short. So I gotta be a little careful when I do this. I never go for wide stripes because I look like a buff muscle man who's not working anymore and it's just trying to bulk and losing on the muscle, so I'm like left with this shape. Yeah. Keep. <laughs> I'm clogging up my pores in embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I cannot believe I did this myself. Like, what kind of money did I think I have? Rainbow Tiger top that J-Hope wore in their DNA music video that I bought for a video. Buying clothes that K-pop idols wore, aka BTS, aka J-Hope. was expensive. I was able to squirm around and find it. And now I don't know what to do with it. This was like 3000 I need a little bit of humbling. What am I gonna do with this? It's just been sitting in my closet. If stupid was a living person, breathing and walking, this girl. Of course I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna sell this thing. Do you know the gingerbread man? I really am starting to question my fashion back then. This is just a nice little oversized stripe gingerbread on a loose shirt, long sleeve. Past my thighs, something on the back. Yeah, it's from Rolla Rolla. It's a lower high end kind of brand. Why? Why? I know I'm short and I know I'm stout, but this just amplifies. I'm a kindly and politely pest. Here's another roller roller stripe top. I do like this one. I like the random red stripe here. This color suits me a little bit more. It still, yes, amplifies the stout version of me. I am stout. There's no other version. I do like the wider stripes. Keep. Ooh, Golden State Warrior sweater top crew zipper. I bought this in Korea in a random like store. That's all I remember about it. It's pretty dirty. I like the puffer kind of look. There's actually like cinching to the wrist. It's a little bit more fitting to my short torso. I'm not a huge basketball fan. Fan. Um, I like Giannis. I like Ja. This is about all I know. I could probably say this is my most worn sweater top. The sleeves are insanely long, so I have to roll them up to make them poof at the end like this. So that's why I roll up the sleeves, but if I don't, they ju it just kind of looks like this. Super baggy, super cute. I love the color. I love the knit. It's super soft. This is definitely my go-to. I was looking for you, girl. Little taupe turtleneck. I love this cool tone color. I'm not obsessed with turtlenecks only because it pushes up my double chin. That's a thing. So I don't really go for turtlenecks, but if I do, I love wearing this one. And the turtleneck part is like very short. It doesn't like rise up too much. I love how tiny it makes my arms look. Keeping. I wore this quite frequently. Nice little collar and it's also ripped. Keep. Oh my god, this turtleneck I kept for literally seven years? There's no way. Plain Jane chocolate turtleneck. <laughs> and I got this in Korea. I wore it in Japan. Every time I wear this, I get like flashbacks. Cold sweats. It has these cute little like cutouts on the neck and on the sleeve. Keep. This is my Neiwai top. Look at the shape it gives me. It has this big old band, naps you. Not too long, you can see my belly button. Tuck it in a little bit. 
Oh my god. Little thumb wore holes. Wow, makes you feel like horse's size smaller. Again, obsessed with this chocolate color. Keep! I really, really like this Mr. Grinch color. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is on my table and I like to sip on that tea. I normally don't wear it buttoned up like this because of the situation right here. I like wearing it open, so it's a little cardigan on its own. In terms of length, it's perfect for me. I feel like I don't really own anything in green. I know I should probably toss this because it is like tiny as you can see, but guess what? Keep it. I love it. I don't care what you say. This is a neon green. Little thumb more holes again. It's cropped, lightweight, not too tight on the body. Flexibility. Just a nice little neon moment, but not blind. Okay. Here is the pink version of that same neon one. I wore it two winters ago and I never touched these this winter. I don't know why. Because I was struggling with my body and not loving it. Why? I look great in them. Love this turtleneck. Again, it's like super stretchy so you don't get that scrunched up neck. If I can find these, I'm going to link it for you. I would just like to disclaim that last summer, Al and I were really bored. We actually went through this section of my closet and cleared out a bunch of long sleeve tops. So this is like my second cleanse with you guys. Keep it. I mean, this could be cute, but is it? Be honest with me, Linda. Be honest. Is this worth keeping? Am I ever gonna wear this? No. Toss. So, this used to fit me a little bit better. Definitely really tight, as you can tell my arms. You could just tell from the side how much it smushes me up. This is my to-go thought top. Ow! Ow, that was tight. I love this color combo. It makes the checker print really subtle. I have hope I can lose a couple extra pounds and just make this part feel a little more comfy. And I know, I know, that defeats the whole purpose of this video, but just give me one pass. You guys always give me one pass in my videos, okay? This is my one pass. I would never let this die. Ever. I love this combo. It's just my little go-to tank and zip-up hoodie. I gravitate towards this so much. People are probably sick of seeing me wearing this. Oh my god, I'm so cold. So hot up in here. So cute, so flattering. I love this darn thing. Keep. Is your grandma's couch okay? <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts that I'm not gonna say because it is not nice. I do remember wearing this and I think I tucked it under jeans in Korea for this brand trip. I don't know where I got this. Maybe like TJ Maxx or something. Honestly, if I was with child, this top would be my goat. Honestly, this is probably six years old anyway, so. <laughs> Please don't the trend of wearing blouses in K-pop was like a thing with your like asymmetrical skirts. Bro, I'm gonna be one of them. And now I'm just suffering with consequences. Horrendous on my body. Honestly kept this because it was expensive. Keeping expensive things at the cost of your mental health sometimes is worth it, but <laughs> not in this case. Does <laughs> easy. Oh, there's an oil stain. Oh, keep Honestly, this is, is a little is, is a little questionable. <laughs> People who are in the business casual attire would like this. I don't feel like I can rock this. It's just too cropped for me. I have outgrown this top and that's totally okay. Toss. I'm trying this new thing where I'm trying to be honest. Say honestly, will you ever wear this outfit? Full blown, confident, not caring what people think. The answer is no. The cardigan's okay. This? <laughs> this is actually my sister's top. <laughs> I think it's time to return it. <laughs> Minis maxi. No. I'm not even gonna attempt putting this on. It's just this blue blouse that runs long, it's supposed to be like a skirt. Put this piece on top. Something entices me to keep it. So you know what? I'm just gonna keep this. This is from Lip Hop and it's supposed to be like a dress. You're supposed to attach this and button back here. Except like it doesn't wrap around my body. This mochi. This one doesn't fit. It never did. I just kept it because I thought I'd fit it when I'm skinnier. The more you age, you gotta release that energy. Tossing. <laughs> Super cute. So cute. This little mesh on top of the corset. The sleeves have this cute little like bell princess. In the wind. <gasps> Am I Cinderella? I don't have anything in this color. I love how the mesh ruffles right out of the corset. I'm a sucker for a corset because it just cuts you so nicely, just gives you that illusion. Everything you ever asked for. This is a very formal top. Minus the like little see-through peekaboos here. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe wear a tank underneath or something. Even though this gives like young mom vibes, I kind of like it. I kind of live for the polka dot on the navy. Perfect for my short little torso. This is just an emergency top if I need to go somewhere and I, I can't show too much. Pe Call me a sucker for little shirts. I mean shirts with holes. You can tell this is little enough. It's literally tight on my thumbs. I might just rip this. Like sporty, but do you see the mini? The mini is out. Yeah, it's too tight. <laughs> I'm gonna take a scientific notice. To this top looks like it's been worn so many times. It looks and feels like a top that has sweat stains. So outworn. I just look like a mom who's been milking her babies for way too long. Yeah, let's toss this. Why do I look like this? It's a little nice sweater crop top. By the way, it's my sister's, so I could return this to her. I'm not keeping this in my closet. It is not welcome. What's the goal here, Faye? It's a 
horrible. I hate this. Why am I doing this? So weird. Cause it's too small, obviously, dummy. Customer service, such a service. She's like a salesperson. The only thing I'm selling in this top is to not listen to my fashion advice. <laughs> I'm clearly not gonna try on my mesh tops. I don't know what I would wear this with. They're fashion pieces that I may need. Have I worn or touched these in the last three years? No, but I might need it one day. Remember that pink crop? This is the black version. Yes, it is see-through. Yes, it's cropped. Yes, it's supposed to be oversized. Yes, I'm tossing it. <laughs> this too has outrun its durality. It's thinning, there's no grip to it. If there's any top that has the opportunity to be baggy and it chooses to be baggy on your wrists, it's time to go. <laughs> Finally, something that looks decent. It's getting wordy there. This is the same top to the white one I had. It's so flattering. It runs long, so you could wear it like that. But you know me, I'm gonna do the tucking thing. Quite surprised. I normally don't like open shoulders because it makes me look extremely wide. But something about this top is like giving me all the feels. Even I, at my most vulnerable, weakest mind, told myself to throw this away because it was too tight. <laughs> But did I listen? No. I'll back it up. If your chesty bestie had butt cracks, the butt cracks are out. Realistically, I will decline any opportunity wearing this out. Talk. Yo, 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 I feel like a rap. I feel like hip hop. Hip hop. I like this long sleeve. I just like pieces that are a little bit more like different, asymmetrical. Honestly, I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know what style I. Fit it. I admire people who have like an aesthetic in the way they dress. I really don't. If bipolar was a thing for fashion pieces, fashion styles, fashion niches, I am her. I don't know who I am. As a person, just have completely lost what I like, what I look good at on a day to day. Like, I don't know who I am fashionably. Who am I? I don't know. Keep. Sorry if I gotta mention that I have another mesh. But it comes up a little higher on the neck, you know? Ugh, I hate this really. Oh my god, you look so nice, babe. <laughs> this I do like. It gives very K-style baddie vibe. I'm sure it's just like another existential crisis. Existential cri- Like now I'm really thinking about it, like who, who really am I? What do I want to embody? I just feel I need a little bit of guidance or maybe just rebranding myself a little more. Niching down maybe. What's happening to me? <laughs> I've always just wanted to look a little bit of everything. Why do you have an oversized dress shirt, Faye? I don't know, maybe because I want to wear it off the shoulder and like oversized on me with no pants on and high boots on, which I did. Is that the style or aesthetic I want to go for? Hmm. I don't know, but I think it is nice to have one dress shirt in your closet. So clearly key. May 22nd, I'm turning 29. I'm approaching my 30s. I no longer can be this immature version of myself. I'm a sophist. No, I feel like I just woke my third eye up. My sixth sense is tingling. Anyway. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for riding along to this closet clean out. As you guys can see, you're not alone if you're still trying to figure out yourself. That's why it's nice going through these clothes. Just need to like evolve. Let go and shake off that old energy. It's time to grow. Oh, I, I do have one more shirt. It's just a Carhartt long sleeve. I don't want it. It's a matching top from my ex and gross. <laughs> On a real note though, I do hope that this video was helpful. It's difficult, but it's so much better to just let go of old things, no matter if that's for your body's sake, your mental health sake, or just growth, <laughs> which I'm realizing that's a big part of it now. And take it as this free space that's allowing you to manifest who you want to be, who you want to become. And I guess that's how I should look at it too. Instead of having a mental breakdown. Love you. Give me a hug. Bye. Even if you try, you wouldn't